Servo motors are used almost everywhere in electronics and DIY project. In this video, we are going to learn how to interface a servo motor with an Arduino. We are also going to learn what's inside a servo motor by breaking it and much more. So let's dive straight into the video. Now we'll first start with the pinout of the servo motor. The servo motor has three pins, VCC, ground and signal. The motor requires PWM or pulse width modulation signal in order to control it. So you can use any of the following Arduino pins which gives PWM outputs. A PWM signal looks like this. By changing the duty cycle percentage which is given to the servo, you can control its position. This can be changed inside the Arduino code which we'll learn later in this video. Now let's break open this servo and see what's inside. So the first thing inside is this DC motor which will drive this primary gear. The secondary motor gears will move due to this. Now this is a potentiometer which will take this input and send this to the control unit which is the circuit. The circuit will evaluate if the potentiometer's value is equal to the degree value sent by the Arduino and then change motor speed and direction if necessary. Okay, now when that's done, let's interface the servo with the Arduino. So you need to connect the VCC of servo with 5 volt pin of Arduino. The ground pin with the ground pin and the signal pin with pin 5 of Arduino. As discussed earlier, you can use any of the PWM pins which you want. Here's the complete circuit diagram. You can pause this video and make connections accordingly. You can also check this and the necessary code which is given in the blog linked in the description. Now let's move on to the software implementation of the project. Okay, so here's how it works. So first we have the servo.h library which is used to control the servo motor. So this is an inbuilt Arduino IDE library. We have created an object named servo motor through it. And we have also declared, you know, pot pin variable. And, you know, we are taking input from the A0. We have attached potentiometer to the A0 pin. So we are declaring it here. In the void setup function, we have two things. First, we are attaching the servo motor to the pin 5. So this is our output pin. And we are, you know, initializing and beginning serial communication. This will be used for printing various values later on. Now, let's check on to the void loop here. We have two things here. First is the uh, pot value, which is the input value. We are analog reading this pot pin. So we are uh, reading the value we are taking from the A0 pin through here and we are storing it into an integer value which is the pot value. So okay so what's important to you know notice here is that the input value which we are taking from the potentiometer so that will be in the range of 0 to 1023 but our servo motor which is a standard 180 degree servo that will be taking input in the range of 0 to 180. So what we need to do is we need to take the input from the potentiometer and we need to somehow convert it into the 0 to 180 scale. So for that we'll be using this map function. The first variable will be taking this pot value here. Second we'll be taking the input value from the potentiometer uh, which is the range of 0 and 1023 and third we'll be putting the output range uh, which we need which is 0 to 180 degree which will be given uh, which will be giving to the servo motor. Next, we'll be storing this 0 to 180 degrees uh, range or degree in a variable called servo angle int and then we'll be writing it through this servo motor dot write servo angle. So this will be given as output through our pin 5 and then it will go to the servo. Next you can see we have also serial dot printed these values which is our input and output values and we have given a delay of 15 milliseconds here. Now let's see this project in working. So this is our complete setup and as you can see as I am moving the potentiometer the servo motor is moving proportionally. So I hope you liked this video. If you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel so we can keep making this kind of content for you. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.